Today, we take our first look at Evolving Skies. I was super fortunate to grab this from a local game shop. Plus, we got all these new Dollar General tins. Let's roll the intro and get into it. All right, here we are. Let's get after it. So I was super fortunate in finding um, all three of these tins at the first Dollar General I went to today. Um, I've been in desperate need of content. <laughs> so I was super grateful to find this. These are the new Dollar General tins and they do not have dollar packs in them. They actually have real full blown packs. So. And that's what you get. So definitely not bad. I think they are uh, 10 bucks a piece, maybe something like that. And of course, I'm not the, the first person on YouTube to, uh, to open these. But they are um, exclusive promos, in case you didn't know that. So this Mimikyu, it looks like every Mimikyu. But um, if I had to guess, I'd say it's Sword and Shield Base. And they did not make this card a hollow. Darkness Ablaze. So, I do moderately collect Mimikyu, so I'm, I'm kind of hype about being able to find us some of that. Same packs. And weirdly enough, if you didn't know this as well, um, Rebel Clash has become the most underprinted Sword and Shield set. And I just don't understand that. I don't even. It's so peculiar. I think this was an, this one is an exclusive um, hollow promo as well. The Snorlax. I'll try and burn through these pretty quick, so that we can get our first look at our evolving skies pre-release. And uh, in case you're wondering what's going on, I am live on Twitch. I don't think I have my chat pulled up um, in the actual recording of the video. But yeah. Got my boy John in the chat going absolutely bonkers. Alright, let's get after it. I'm going to just do it like this. Uh, just because Vivid Voltage is, is where, what I'm most, most excited for. So here we go. Let's get after it. I'll try not to reveal the code cards to... Um, preserve the experience, so to speak. Rebel Clash ended up sneaking up on us, I feel like. Um, everybody kind of slipped on it when the set first came out. And uh, the Gold Frost Moth, we, we pulled it pretty much on release. Oh my goodness, I see something, bro. Is that a freaking rainbow? Don't tell me. Don't tell me Dollar General has done come through. Oh. Kaparaja. Not bad. Can't be mad at that. Full art. <laughs> I guess it's not John. He said uh, Beyonce had <laughs> one of the greatest albums of all time. Oh my god, dude. You're so weird. Go back in there, buddy. Go back in there. Alright, here we go. On the end, the Perserker. Sorry, I gotta do this to you guys and make you wait for the pre-release, and I can't say that I blame you if you skip through the video to it. John and I have to wait in real time. Unfortunately. What? That was weird. So let me know how excited you guys are for, uh, for Evolving Skies. I think that this set is going to be hard. I think it's going to be super hard in the future. I think this is going to be the ones that we're looking back on for sure.
Flygon. That was a white code card. I had my suspicions that this was going to be weird with it being reprints and it being Dollar General. The Bat from Darkness of Blaze. That is not bad. And look, that was a green. Which means that they probably directly printed uh, these cards into into these tins. I'm not going to say that these packs specifically were printed for this. But what I can say is in pre-release kits, I've experienced a very similar thing like this. And it only happened in um, in the whatever product it was. So green codes would give hollows and full arts. It, it was just very, very strange. Which means I guess we're just going to rock with Vivid Voltage just straight through instead of doing the Vivid Voltage trick, I guess. There we go. Just on the off chance. In that case... I could feel if there was texture. Let's see what we got. No amazing rare in there. My bulk, my bulk box is full. All right. But yeah, if you guys are excited for um, Evolving Skies, please let me know in the chat. Because I know that I am actually absolutely feeling it. I'm definitely not saying chilling, chilling Rain was bad. But I am more hype about... I think this set is more hype than Chilling Rain was. All right, and here we go. Here we go. We are off to the races. Quagsire. But the amazing rare Zamazenta sneaks out of the darkness. Let's go. All right, boys. It's showtime. I'll tell you what. I think I'm going to kill the vibes just for this situation because it's here and I am super duper duper excited. Ooh, I'm so hyped, dude. I wonder if these come with the little poster. I can't remember. No, that was the theme decks that had that. I did not think that I was going to be seeing pre-release kits for any set. For a long time. Man. Here we go. We got four packs to give this set a shot. Um, so. I got the Zapdos. Which out of the birds. Was the one that. That I am the most interested in. See if this poster is anything dope. No not really. Which is okay. I just obviously have a bunch of crap in here, so, alright, here we go, let's do it, so we got the Sylveon, Sylveon, <laughs> Umbreon, and Duraludon, VMAX, take a sip of this Hawaiian punch, <sighs> let's do it. Alright. First pack. It is the Fletchling. If this card has texture, I'm waiting until the end. Okay, it's just ultra rare. Bravery, switching cups, tentacruel. Fletchling Tentacool. Pikachu. Okay. C dot dot. Lilypup. 
The Articuna Reverse Rare. That is dope. And on the end, Arctivish. Not bad, not bad. First pack had an Ultra Rare, so I definitely cannot complain about that. Um, I don't know much about this other than the Evolutions and the Ray. So anything that's in here is going to be pretty much new to me. Statistically speaking, from my experience personally, the pre-release kits are the best product to buy in in my in my opinion. I wish I could have got a booster box for you guys for the first video, but dope ursaring. Sometimes it just doesn't work out that way. It came out on an off week of my of my paycheck. I'm not even gonna lie. Wow, that slackoth is dope. I don't even know what that is. Oh, it's the new Reggie. The Sharpedo. All right. Number three. There we go. That was beautiful. I'm feeling like we're due a hollow. The dragon type. Ludicolo, I actually like that a lot. I know my camera quality is not there today. I really do like that though. So yeah, that's I guess that's our hollow rear. All right, and the the last pack magic. Let's we'll see if we can do something. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can make something shake. Do I see something in the middle? I do indeed. The whitey. Let's go. All right, everybody. I appreciate you stopping by and hanging out with me for a little while today. We're gonna see if we can cap it off with something, something sweet. Feeling like it's gonna be just a regular ultra rare, but that's okay. Drowsy, it's me. <laughs> the ice skew in on the end. Go lurk. Well, you guys can definitely look forward to more videos of Roaring Skies in the future. With that being said, I'll see you in the next video. Peace!